Hello guys and welcome back to World of Worship and for the love of God and for love of Zera please subscribe to my channel I'll give you the fastest information about new changes and especially new ships and today I'm almost crying guys you're never not gonna believe I'm gonna share with you I have been waiting for this opportunity Oh, for such a long, probably around three years, and it's almost, I feel, that they are very close. Ladies and gents, may I present the tier 1 all the way to tier 10 European uh, destroyer line, of which more than 50%, or should I say probably 70% of all the destroyers are from Sweden, and the topic, and absolutely the topic, I'm, I cannot bear myself. It's actually from the place I'm coming from, and it will be the tier 10 uh, Swedish-made destroyer. And guys, for <laughs> I am so freaking hyped. I am so glad I cannot find any words to explain how happy I am. I mean, sure, if you are American and you grind the U.S. destroy or whatever, you of course you are happy. But remember, Sweden it's kind of a small country, but it, they did uh, have very good workers. And guys, before I'm gonna tell too much, it's the land of Beaufort. Uh, not far away from where I'm living, around 250 kilometers, it's the Beaufort uh, factory still uh, w working on different kind of equipment. But what I'm trying to say is, guys, it's that the Swedish destroyer, or should I say European destroyer, will be quite unique and unfortunately without smoke. But let's see and talk about each tier tier one not getting crazy it's the griff griff i have no idea i don't believe this one it's uh swedish probably uh, the whole line it will be uh mixed between um shall i say hungary uh, uh, swedish and uh, probably some other nation uh, you can always see here a, a lot of information. I'll give you uh, information, but guys, before we do that, let's just talk about uh, uh, tier for tier. Let me know in a comment below. Nothing crazy. I it's a tier two destroyer with a uh, pew pew guns, and you will be so much surprised what's the flavor of this European uh, or pan European nation. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy. It's a tier two for crying out loud, and uh, I'll give you all the stats. But I will make a special video with the tier ten one because the tier ten one it's very very interesting. Uh, the tier three Romulus Ro Romulus Romulus. I have this gut feeling that this could be actually a Swedish made. Uh, please let me know in the comment below. Now, this is such a new, new news that I did not uh, search on the web about this destroyer because I would like to very much make a very, very special video about the tier 10 ones. Um, the only thing I can uh, see here which makes this a little bit uh, uh, different, it's some AA. Um, yes, some AA in this uh, part. You still have um, some torpedo. It's almost as a close to Clemson's, but you only have four in each side. So yeah, I have no idea about the range, but guys, I will talk about, because you will definitely see the hit points. Uh, the torpedo tubes are one by two, 450 millimeters range. It's at eight kilometer, which is fantastic for uh, this tier, tier three and 55 knots reload 40 second um and the to to torpedo detection is 1.2 now of course the damage is not crazy because that's the flavor about the the whole european nation they have good fast torpedo but the damage it's not high. maximum da damage by the way it's 5100 so it's probably it's pretty low but remember guys it's only tier 3 uh, destroyer and the range 8 km is actually fantastic now of course the downside also they are kind of uh, um, uh, slow 34 knots for tier 3 nothing crazy turning radius 440 uh, it's 
fantastic. It's bloody fantastic. Um, rudder shift 2.1. Now, the turning rate is 440 and uh, a rudder shift with 2.1, it turns on a dime. Literally, it turns on a dime. Okay, you may argue 6.9 in detection, it's meh. It's tier 3, what do we expect? Uh, you have the uh, one slot in damage count and engine boost and it's a regular plus eight uh, percent engine boost now Claus uh, uh, horn it must be a Swedish made I do believe so guys and I love this job. <laughs> I'm all freaking crying here. I cannot believe the Swedish. Of course, you may argue that it's not Swedish. It's, uh, uh, shall I say, pain a European uh, nation. But guys, you will definitely gonna see more than 70% of all those destroyers are made in Sweden. It's absolutely hilarious, fantastic. Hit points 8,000, plating 10 millimeters, main armor 1x2 two and 2x1, two 120 millimeters, fine range 9.5. Uh, five uh, maximum uh, H uh, HE damage 1700 chance to put your enemy on fire it's 8% and HE shell speed are 800 probably guys it's close to I don't know US level 800 meters per second I'm talking about the HE speed um, and the AP do uh, 2000 damage maximum and reload 6.5 it's kind of a uh, bad but you can always increase this with some perk uh, captain's perk 180 degree turn time 18 seconds or pretty damn uh, fine not crazy but definitely workable torpedo tubes you have two by three uh, six torpedo 533 millimeters damage it's only 5333 range 9 kilometer it's actually fantastic for this tier I repeat guys we only have six torpedoes however I do have to apologize uh, they are quite good range 9 kilometers I believe without saying too much this is the best range maybe only the Japanese will beat it but guys 9 kilometers is not bad definitely workable um, a speed holy cow guys 65 knots freaking this is a tier 8 tier 9 torpedoes for crying out wow i mean serious this combination nine kilometers range and the the torpedo speed uh, are 65 knots or fantastic reload 55 seconds it's fantastic uh, all right uh torpedo detection 1.4 will also fantastic the uh, the speed of this destroyer it's 37.8 which is not bad i mean not crazy but definitely not uh, slow turning rate this is absolutely hilarious good uh, at this uh, 500 meters the rudder shift 2.1 oh for the love of god oh man those are maneuverable and very agile destroyers i repeat those are bloody i'm so hyped <laughs> They turn on the dime. The tier 4 and tier, tier uh, 3 die, uh, turns on the dime. Literally, it will beat even the Japanese for crying out loud. And better speed. And way, way better torpedoes. However, the biggest downside with this is 7.1 in detection. Which is awful. Real bad. Really a uh, stinker in, in detection. And air detection 2.8, kind of a, a high, and uh, detection of the fire make smoke 2.5, it's alright. You only have damage count and engine boost. So let me know in the comment below. I believe this is a great destroy, even though the concealment or crap, but tor torpedo are fantastic if you ask me. And I'm a destroyer, man, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, for the tier 4 guy, we are talking VSP. Oh man, this is uh, it's a small uh, island. Gotland, the name of uh, the island, uh, it's the Swedish biggest island, its name is Gotland. And the Visby, it's the biggest town in that uh, island. And I have been there, I've been lived in that uh, particular um, uh, uh, town for two years. So I, I went to school and I have great memories. I love Visby. Visby is one of the most uh, nicest uh, town in the whole Sweden, if, if you ask me. 
Okay, now this looks mother, it looks badass destroyer, guys. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> I cannot believe Wargame decided to give this pen or pain or you name it, Swedish mate, all of them. Um, hit points 9600 is kind of a mech for tier 5, uh, plating 10 millimeters. You have 1x1 one one and 2x2, two two, 120 millimeters. Fire range, crap, 9.5, it's not good, but probably this is stock. Maximum HE damage, 1700 and, and percent to enemy fire, or 8%. Now the HE are a little bit better, 900 meters per second, or not quite Japanese, but guys, it's not US either. Um, I believe 900 meters per second, uh, HE shell speed are fantastic. Reload is kind of a max 6.5. Uh, 180 degree turn time, uh, 18 second maximum dispersion, 86 sigma 2.0. You have 2 by 3, you also have 6 torpedoes. Maximum damage are only 7533 and same torpedoes, 9 kilometers and uh, speed are 65. Reload 55 second. Damn, that's fast reload. You are um, uh, torpedo spammer good one a freaking good one guys seriously i'm not joking what i'm saying right now these are badass torpedo reload extremely fast but the thing is makes this destroyer versus any other destroyer kind of a damn unique i'll tell you i see buttloads of guns guns all over the place the aa guns and we will talk about later what kind of guns they do have and what kind of equipment oh boy what i'm so damn damn excited to see and share with you guys my personal opinion absolutely hilarious and you have to promise me you grind this line otherwise i'll be mad at you you need to grind this line that's for damn sure all right guys let's go back to it <clears throat> Now we are talking about the AA. AA defense, you have 2 by 1, 40 millimeters, 8 by 1, 20 millimeters, and 1 by 2, 40 millimeters. The AA short range consists of 91 hits uh, between 0 0.1 and 2. The biggest uh, uh, change is probably a mid range. Mid range consider 67 hits. Uh, 0 0.1 to 3.5 so all you have to all the way to 3.5 67 91 mm, I believe it's not crazy but it's only tier 5 you will face most likely uh, tier 4 aircraft carrier I do believe you can definitely defend yourself uh, I'm not 100% sure here the maximum speed or 39 oh damn that's fast with speed flex you will go above 40 this is one of the fastest Alternate radius are bloody fantastic, 540 meters per second, rudder shift 2.5. Now, the detection are crap, real crap, but the speed and turning radius makes one of the most agile destroyer at tier 5. Uh, let me put it this way, the most agile and most speed demon without consider the French destroyer because you only have plus one but guys if you put the uh, speed boost on and the flag I do believe you will reach close to 45 which is absolutely fantastic or close to that for tier 5 it's absolutely amazing and turning radius and rudder shift are absolutely amazing the only thing it's really crap it's the detection now available consumable for slot one you have damage count you have engine boost and rep Bear party what the hell now remember guys you do not have smoke you have no smoke whatsoever I repeat you do not have smoke but instead of smoke you have repair party duration 10 seconds HP uh, uh, per second 1% reload it's 120 or 80 seconds with premium and you only have uh, two chargers one charges and two with premium so you need you need very uh, very much you need uh, to have super intended it's a must so it's like a soviet destroyer line without smoke okay mm this is Vesteros. It's a huge, big town in Sweden. I've been there. It's a very good-looking town, Vesteros. Once again, this is a Swedish. Uh, uh, now, this ship looks very much as a tier uh, five. I have no idea what's the big, biggest difference. It's the uh, HP pool, twelve thousand one hundred. It's 
nothing crazy. Now the plating is 16 millimeters. Main armor you have three by two, you have six. 120 millimeters the firepower is definitely over there six guns fire range or crap 9.9 kilometers and the same uh, chance to put the enemy on fire 900 meters per second or all, all right i mean nothing crazy but for tier six i believe it's fantastic reload 6.5 it's mm, maximum dispersion 89 sigma 2.0 now at the torpedo you do have uh, also uh, 6, 2 by 3, 500 millimeters and the damage are only 5,333 uh, damage and range are 10 kilometers. Now for tier 6, 10 kilometers uh, are so damn good, only Fubuki has uh, better torps or better, it's a torpedo boat for crying out. Now, once again guys, 10 kilometers for tier 6, 65 knots are absolutely fantastic. Reload 55 second. It's pretty damn good. But now, guys, you have a little bit more of um, the AA because you now you are a AA monster. I repeat, the Swedish flavor, it's actually no smoke, but AA defense. You have 2 by one 25 millimeters, and you have 3 by 2 40 millimeters. And I do believe made in Sweden it must be bow force it is bow force guns guys I bet that this is no joke it you have six bow force guns at this uh, uh, vessel and not just that guys you will be surprised about something else um, a uh, defense short continues it's only 18 hits for 0 0.1 to 2.5 over here 88 hits that sounds does not sounds crazy high, right? However, however, you do not have the AA defense. You don't. I have to apologize. Maximum speed 38 knots. So it's a little bit slower than the tier five one. Uh, rather shift. It's also worse three seconds. And surface detection 7.7. .7, but even the um, other tier six uh, destroyed, they have kind of a crappy uh, uh, detection range. Oh, of course it's kind of bad you don't have smoke air detection 3.2 it's really crap and firing uh, main smoke in the smoke 2.8 but which you don't have so you do have damage con part engine boost and repair party and the same type of hp uh, uh, hp per second regener or repair party uh, oh man this looks oh for all love of god Oh boy, oh boy, boy, it's another Swedish, uh, tier 7 Swedish Skåne. Skåne, it's uh, southern part, the most southern part of Sweden, um, that uh, it's uh, a lot of um, people lives in, uh, or should I say many, many mean millions of people. Uh, however, what I'm trying to say, it, this looks extremely modern, 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 modern uh, uh, ship with 13,000 uh, HP pool kind of a bad plate in 60 millimeters you have two by two so you only have four guns but i do believe and the fire range 10.0 is kind of a slow so you have only four guns 10 kilometers range and chance to put your animal far or only seven percent and now the HE, uh, what should I say, uh, sh HE AP shells are only 850 meters per second, which I do believe it's closer to US uh, AP and HE performers. Reload or yes, 3.5 seconds. So for me, this one looks very much uh, extremely m modern. Daka Daka 3.5 second reload of those four guns, two in the front or two in the, in the, in the rear. Yeah, so definitely a US level of Daka Daka. Um, torpedo tubes two by three only have six one. Uh, at tier 7 it's kind of a bad guys maximum damage only 7333 this is maximum damage and the range are fantastic 12 kilometers now now you're talking uh, range 
absolutely love it. Oh, for the love of God. 76 knots, 12 kilometers. Now, ladies and gents, may I present the best damn tier 7 torpedo in the game. Oh, shit. I feel sorry for you, battleship. Now, once again, I really feel sorry for you. How is that? I'll explain you why. Oh crap, 76 knots and 12 kilometers. How the heck did you dodge that? Yeah, this is only tier 7. Oh boy, oh boy. I understand you don't have uh, smoke. Yes, I understand that. But the thing is, guys, something else they would like to ask. You have extremely daka daka 3.5 seconds this is stock without any captain's perk or any module any anything so you will be a dpm monster that's for damn sure now of course the the range you will not benefit of advanced firing training because 850 it's a mm, question if you can hit anything more than let's say 12 kilometers i have no idea please let me know in comment below Guys, reload 55 seconds, 76 nuts torpedo, that is absolutely nuts. Torpedo detection 1.6, but guys, at 1.6 with 76 uh, nuts uh, torpedo, your reaction is close to zero. Freaking zero, absolutely hilarious. A defense, now you have 6 40mm uh, uh, guns, you have 4 by 2 25mm guns, and... Oh, those are AA guns as well. Those big caliber guns are AA, so the or uh, twin um, uh, twin guns, AA and main armament. So a tier seven, holy cow, guys! I do believe that uh, I have a gut feelings what it, this is going for. Um, yeah, you can you can see here the continuous damage 39, 67, 70. Um, but over here you have six freaking kilometers in range. <whistles> AA defense, long range continuous damage per second. 70 hits, but six kilometers range. Now that I dig. Number of explosion in a salvo, it's two damage with an explosion, 1470, and action zone between 3.5 and 6 kilometers. Ladies and gents, may I present the best tier 7 destroyer in AA of all destroyer in the freaking game. At tier 7, this is a fleet escort destroyer. I explain you why. <coughs> You have damage control party at slot 2, engine boost repair party, duration for 10 seconds, and HP regenerate 1% uh, of your HP pool reload or 120 or ADU. Um, I believe, guys, without saying too much, because our dual purpose guns, you have one absolutely the best AA at your 7. Yep, I have this gut feeling that you do. Now, the biggest downside with this uh, ship is that the speed are mediocre at the best, really bad speed. Turning radius is 610, not the greatest if you compare with the tier 5, tier 6. This is a slug versus tier 5. Tier six. Rather ship 3.2, mm. uh, surface detection 7.7, .7. even Mayhan has uh, almost as bad as this detection. But in detection wide, it's bad. What's the gimmick about this uh, destroyer? It's it's a good rate of fire. You can definitely help your team. Good A8 and <laughs> extremely good torpedoes. Sure, you only have six of them, but man, how the heck you dodge at tier 7, 76 knots? Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. And then, guys, we have Erland. This is the uh, s um, next smallest country, uh, island between between Gotland and the main uh, land, Sweden, it's Erland, it's an it's, uh, island. It's very popular, I've been there uh, many times, uh, me and my family, uh, nice nice place. And it looks extremely odd, however, it looks big, big as a house, freaking huge. Now, the hit points are 14,100, which, yeah, alright, plating 19mm, this is a tier 8. 
Now keep that in mind at year eight you can put the cons uh, the concealment module. So keep that in mind. Main battery two by two. Okay. All right. Now I get a, po a point. Also ten kilometers range, uh, and uh, chance to put your engine on fire seven percent. All right. HE uh, um, um, literally same tier 7s um, uh, shall I say Scornes guns uh, guys at tier 8 it's the Erland um, it's literally had the same type of guns torpedo are not the same because now they do 10,750 which is of course lower than anything else but the same bloody uh, uh, range and speed and now your reload are 76 uh, seconds 70 seconds reload time 70 seconds now this is without module without uh, uh, captain spurk remember you can have this lower i have no idea probably around 60 seconds each you launch uh, six torpedo with 76 uh, knots of speed and 10,700 maximum damage you may argue there it's not a lot of torpedo power but man so fast you're a torpedo spammer and now you have a defense 2 by 1 40 millimeters 7.1 25 millimeters and 3 by 2 40 millimeters and 2 by 2 oh crap now you have a lot of firepower in AA Holy McLaurin, just look at this A of the mid range section. Holy cow, 161 hits, and this is continuous damage. This is the minimum damage you can do, guys. I mean, continuous, you get daka 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 161. That's huge for tier 8. Damn, and long range 63, but this is from 0 0.1 all the way to 6 kilometers. So you have a huge uh, around uh, range and the short range or mid range it's crazy high number of explosion you have four and uh, damage with an explosion 1540 maximum speed 35 knots and that it's low it's freaking slow really slow at year eight turning radius 610 rather ship 3.4 surface detection 8.0 Oh man, this one it's even worse than Kiev. <laughs> Air detection 3.5. That is bad 3.5. However, remember that you are a AA monster at year 8. And detection after firing the main 2.0. Guys, even though that this is absolutely crap 3.5, I'm talking about the air detection. Um, you have so much AA power guys I believe without saying too much you have one of the best tier 8 with uh, without uh, the US premium uh, kid uh, beside kid I do believe you are the top dog in AA uh, I believe so guys I believe that not even the damn kid have 161 hits uh, continuous uh, DPM uh, from 0 0.1 to 3.5 I do believe so guys and now the consumer or the uh, damage count uh, engine boost repair party and radar I repeat the tier 8 Erland will have heal repair party speed boost and radar who needs smoke when you have radar guys <laughs> All right, uh, what kind of radar do we talk about? Duration is only 15 seconds and detection of ships are only 7.5. Uh, 15 seconds, 7.5. Okay, it's, I do believe it's close to uh, USS Kid, but I do believe the US Kid have a little bit longer duration of the radar. <coughs> only 15 seconds. Mm -hmm does not matter what you do you don't want to gunfight this thing uh, if, especially if you are whatever you are you know what I mean it does have heal that's a huge thing 14,100 HP pool are not crazy but it's all right kind of a weird very weird like you have radar uh, repair party engine boost and damage control and then we have Österjötland Österjötland uh, that's the right word <laughs> It's a Swedish man. I mean, I know they said this uh, 
pain in your pain, but it's Swedish all the way. The Tirana. Now, this looks extremely modern and this looks more like a light cruiser. I believe she's a huge as a, I don't know, guys. It's a huge, extremely huge, big destroyer. And that's my honestly opinion about this uh, destroyer, so-called. It looks more like a, a tiny, small cruiser. And hit points 15,800 are not crazy plating 90 millimeters main battery you still have the same freaking 2x2 two two 120 millimeters the same uh, uh, range kind of crappy range uh, kind of crappy uh, chance to put your enemy on fire same crappy 850 meters per second reload or only three seconds this is without module uh, the same uh, uh, 180 degree turn time as the previous one and torpedo tubes are what you have different kind of torpedoes right i do have to apologize Mr. Yotlam, yes um torpedo tubes one by three and one by five all right so in one torpedo launcher you have three torps and at the second one you have five tor torpedoes 533 millimeters maximum damage 10,700 range or whopping 15 kilometers and the speed are you kidding me 86 knots that is absolutely the fastest torpedo in this game holy macaroni guys you talking about you only have eight torps right but why did they say one by three and one by five please let me know guys for the love of god let me know in a comment below what that it means do you think you can launch one by one by one by one like a british destroyer i still believe you can do that guys it says torpedo tubes one by three and one by five or probably you have three torpedoes in one side and another five uh, in the second launcher and of course torpedo detection is 1.8 but uh, one question how the heck you dodge 86 uh, knots of torpedoes yeah and this crazy AA ladies and gentlemen present the best tier 9 uh, destroy in this game this is freaking uh, 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 monster in AA at this mid range from mid range from 0 0.1 to 3.5 you have whopping 326 hits this I believe guys without AA this is by far one of the best let me know in the comment below which one will beat this one i don't believe that no destroyer will beat i don't believe this is a uh, fleet escort destroyer for crying out loud 326 hits uh, continuous damage crazy crazy between 0 0.1 and 3.5 and then from 0 0.1 to 670 uh, which is pretty good uh, range maximum spot, uh, speed or crazy bad 35 knots turning radius 610 rather ship 3.7 it's kind of a sluggish it's kind of a slow and surface detection it's 8.0 it's really bad it's really bad however you can uh, definitely need concealment expert and camo and everything for concealment air detection is bad 3.5 and detection after firing the main smoke 2.9 it's also bad but you don't have any smoke but you, what you do have, it's the damage count, engine boost, and radar. And the radar, it's same duration, 15 seconds, and same detection, 7.5. 7 However, this time you do have two charges, three with premium one, and Super Nintendo, you have four. Ladies and gents, may I present the part where my sister lives Holland Holland it's a place uh, very close where I'm living right now and this ladies and gents may I present the most modern destroyer in the entire game 
world of worship. I mean, just look at those guns, guys. Those guns looks like from yesterday, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Sweden yesterday. And just look at those those launcher. Oh, for the love of God, just look at it. Now this looks slim. This looks fast. This looks extremely from this age, not from World War Two. <laughs> Hit points 19,200. Oh man, that's I like. That is whopping hit points. Plating 90 millimeters. Main armor, we only have two. Two by two, 120 millimeters. Made in Bofors. Yes. Maximum HE shells. Uh, damage or only 1,750. And chance to put your animal fire or eight. Ooh, that's bad only 825 meters per second what the hell happened with the shell speed we go from high to 900 all the way to tier 10 which only have 825 I do believe it's even worse than <laughs> I don't know let me know in comment below what does gearing have for HE shells per, uh, uh, the speed of the uh, the shells AP shells yes that's bad 825 reload 2.5 2.5 yeah and this is without uh, uh, any kind of a uh, uh, module or captain's perk I do believe you can get her down even closer than two seconds that it's ridiculous fast even though you only have four of them yeah 180 degree turn time 7.2 yeah I don't only really, you do need expert markman not at 7.2 this is uh, I do believe guys close to um, uh, minotaurs turning radius from left and right absolutely ridiculous maximum dispersion ID 2 Sigma 2.0 torpedo you have two by five so you have five torpedoes 533 millimeters uh, maximum damage 10,700 rage 15 kilometers 10 torpedoes 86 knots who needs the concealment i don't give a damn about concealment when i have 15 kilometers store with whopping 86 um, knots speed reload time of course is kind of a bad only 110 seconds but you have this uh, opportunity to uh, perk and module to cut the down from 110 to I don't know probably even under 100 seconds probably even 95 or something which is fantastic and yeah torpedo detection 1.8 but this is absolutely crazy good torpedoes uh, guys without saying too much this is absolutely one of the best torpedoes in the game and 10 of them you can create such a badass uh, torpedo wall mm, you will hit you will hit your car target that's for damn sure a defense 6 by 1 40 millimeters 1 by 2 57 millimeters now for someone who does not know what 57 millimeters it's the gun and this is the in the middle guys in real life this gun freaking uh, take down jets not just uh, midways pew pew uh, planes you know so guys this is the mother of all guns a guns this is the um, uh, i have no idea how to explain you guys it's literally the best a guns in this game by far it's freaking minotaurs a a guns that's what it is i want to explain you exactly this it's nothing than a fleet a a escort ship this is a huge big finger literally to all CV when they are going to strike this destroyer. This is a destroyer you never want to hit a strike and I explain you why. Only have two because I do believe it's those two. Those in the middle. Two 57 millimeters guns, two by two 120 millimeters the AA defense of mid-range continuous damage is whopping 337 uh, hits per second AA long range continuous damage per second it's 140 and here's the pretty significant thing number of explosion in a salvo six six explosion in a salvo this flak flak guys damage within the explosion 1890 action time between 3.5 and 6 kilometers so this flak 
will go from 3.5 all the way to 6 kilometers and once again it's really crazy and what makes this dangerous it's because the AA of this huge 337 hits per second it's between guys 0 0.1 and 5 so every single plane from 0 to 5 kilometer it will affect this AA guns and those twin uh, twin guns which literally guys without saying too much if you don't have any full squad of um, airplane do not strike this one it might take all your planes down ASAP I swear guys uh, this is exactly one it's a AA monster of a destroyer now guys on the slot one you have damage count you on slot two you have engine boost on on the third slot you have repair party duration 14 seconds so now the duration is higher and the same uh, hp per second um, uh, percentage of your regenerate and you only have uh, two charges with the um, premium consumable for the slot 4 you have survivor uh, radar so you have radar 15 second duration at the same range 7.5 kilometers range and reload or the same reloads 180 or 120 with premium on you only have three charges with premium that was a long 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 uh, review of the Asian or you can call it what you will call but it's uh, actually swedish um, yeah, most most of them swedish made uh, destroy guys stay tuned for the biggest uh, news and there will be the new tier 10 premium destroy that i will talk about so stay tuned for the next video thanks guys for watching and always captains fierces and goodbye